Morning, everybody. Excuse me while I move my camera up a little bit. All right. I'm doing a wine glass today. Got some really pretty colors for you today. I am using uh, Pearl X powder pigments and I am using the duo blue green the salmon pink and um, a rose gold and a sapphire so they're all really beautiful colors and very shiny very shimmery Got lots of bling today Anybody that knows me knows I like the bling. I like shiny, shiny. I'm gonna mix up my colors real quick. The salmon is so pretty. It is a pink, pink. Anyway, I'm just doing a fun wine glass today. I spray painted it with just a flat white. Um, I used the Rust-Oleum flat white just as a base and I'm also going to use some alcohol ink um, I'm going to use an ocean green a turquoise and a Persian blue so, all right let's let's get the white on there or the clear, rather, not the white. I'm going to use my stick today a little bit. I'll probably end up using my hand. That's just... Let's use the hand. Just want to make sure it's all spread on there evenly. Get all the way to the rim. did that uh, mug the other day and it was one of those live and learn situations. My plastic, I was using a very light plastic and somehow or another it came up and touched the bottom of the mug. Well, that's all she wrote. It ended up wrapping up all around the, all around the mug. So I'm going to clean the mug and uh, try again but I'm using a, a thicker plastic this time hoping that we can minimize the accidents I was really bummed out because it was so pretty but like I said live and learn live and learn I'll uh, show you what happened to it there's really no way to save it it's just gonna have to be redone just can kick myself when I make stupid accidents like that but like I said trial and error sometimes you don't always think of everything So I had a friend of mine ask me about my mugs, or about my, excuse me, my tumblers. And she wants to put her logo, her business logo on it. 
which I think is a really good idea. Um, I'm going to have to do that for myself. Throw your business logo on there and advertise as you're drinking your, your beverage. moves sometimes when you're messing with it. I'm going to make sure it's even so that way the pigments will flow evenly. And I didn't get my spray paint perfect or anything. I just wanted a base. Um, a little bit of a base for it to cling to and uh, give it a little bit to shine. out this clear. I don't want to waste any of it. It's like gold. You don't want to waste it. Okay. I think those two are going to be really pretty together. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna just throw some a couple of drops of alcohol ink on here. My allergies are through the roof, y'all. Please excuse me if I clear my throat a little bit. We're blooming. We have pollen on everything right now. It's that time of the year again. All right. That was Ocean Green Alcohol Ink. And I'm going to throw a little turquoise in there. I'm going to use Persian blue. It's really dark. I think it'll be a good base. torch for a minute and make sure I don't have any bubbles. I usually do this in the beginning and got, got busy. 
All right. See a spot on here I need to get off. Wait for it to roll back around. what that was. Okay. Let me add a little bit more right there. Back to the bubble popping. Okay. All right, let's start with our color. This is the shimmery part. Makes it all blingy and pretty. And I'm going to throw a little rose gold in here just to give it a little Some of our salmon pink.
<coughs> excuse me. I've only worked one other time with the plastic wine glass and I didn't have a base on it so it didn't didn't really come out very well I don't think I didn't like the way it did anyway I wasn't happy with it anyway this is turning out to be very pretty I think I've pretty much got all the pink covered up. I think I'm going to leave the pink out and just leave it with the blues. I mean, there's a hint of it here and there, but I like it better like this. I'm going to do a, a light colored wine glass and just leave it just light colors. All right, I'm going to pop some bubbles and I'm going to leave it as is. It's got some, um, it'll, it'll change a little bit as it, as it flows, but I actually like the way this has turned out. If I put too much heat on it, it'll get it going too much. I like the swirls in it. It's beautiful. It's got a lot of I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but it's got a lot of shimmer to it. And um, the patterns are very unique. I think this is going to turn out beautifully. I'm excited! All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit messing with it before I mess it up. I don't want to get it swirling too much. It's got a pretty pattern to it. Yeah, 
up. See, it's starting to swirl right here. I don't want it to blend together. I want it to keep that that look like I had on the on this mug, or I mean on this tumbler. It's got the different swirls in it and stuff. It came out so pretty. Almost gives it a marbled look, I guess, is what I'm going for. Alright, y'all. Well, I'm going to let that cure, and once it does, if, <laughs> if nothing happens to this one, I'll post pictures on it and let you see what I did. You can give me your opinion, and... Um, let me know what you think. I'm going to cover this rim right here. See some is, some of that white is coming through. I don't really want the white. So I'm just going to touch it up real quick. I've done different things to try and keep the... I've taped it. I've done Vaseline, I've done everything on the inside of the rim, and um, I'm still trying to perfect the rim. See, and that white just wants to, that white just wants to pop right through. Maybe a darker. I'm wondering if I don't have enough epoxy on the rim to grab to. Okay, that's it, y'all. I'm going to leave it as is. If I keep messing with it, I'm going to end up with something I don't like, and then I'm going to be kicking myself off camera. So, I'm going to zoom in, so bear with me, just so maybe you can see the color a little bit better. Is that too close? I think so. Let me zoom back out. I don't know if you can see the color or not. Alright, y'all. I'm going to post this and I'll show you what it looks like when it's cured. Have a good day.